guys. Still week two of the Team Grit Nutrition Challenge. You guys are doing great. Really excited to see all the participation going on in this group. Uh, tonight's video is a little bit more philosophical. Um, this is my view on establishing healthy eating uh, behaviors that you can maintain long term. And that's what I'm always thinking about. I want you guys, uh, and for myself, but I want you guys to develop habits that you see yourself doing five or ten years from now. And really that's how you're going to be successful. Um, because the quickest way to abandon a nutrition plan is to feel deprived and you don't want to do it anymore because you're not happy with it and you let it go and then you slide back into old habits. So long-term success, that's what we're shooting for. So tonight I just want to briefly uh, talk about um, you know, two different views on healthy eating. Um, one view, you know, clean eating and the other view being flexible dieting or more commonly known as IIFYM or if it fits your macros. Um, so for clean eating, um, you know, you'll see that more, uh, you know, that is, you know, only whole foods, nutrient dense foods. Um, so, you know, one in a simple way to think about that is one ingredient food. So strawberry has one ingredient, chicken breast has one ingredient, salmon has one ingredient, sweet potato, rice, whatnot, fruits, veggies, lean meats. Um, some grains in there, um, but a lot of a lot of uh, there's a pr there's problems that go along with that. So anytime you have a restrictive diet where you're saying you can't have these certain types of foods, um, that mentally can be a problem. Um, where you know I like pizza, I think it tastes really good. I don't eat a lot, but. Um, you know, saying to myself, I'm never allowed to have pizza again, that would suck. <laughs> I mean, to be honest. Um, you know, there's a point where you have to come down to lifestyle, too, and, and you have to be happy, you know, satisfied with your nutrition plan, and you have to be able to incorporate that into your lifestyle and not, uh, you know, cause stress. And a lot of times what can happen is if, you know, I'm only eating nutrient-dense whole foods, um, uh, I completely f forgot where I was going with that point. Uh, okay, it's gone. So we're going to move on. Um, you know, another problem with that type of diet, um, you know, it, it's easier to just say this is what I'm going to do, but um, when... It, so the uh, one problem is that um, when you are those types of foods are not very calorically dense, you know, unless you're you know you have a decent amount of rice. Um, thanks, Max. That's nice. Um, <laughs> but when you when you start working your metabolism up, it's really hard to get you know enough calories in the day for you know with chicken breast and broccoli and sweet potatoes and and whatnot. Um, so like for me, I'm at 3,100 calories per day, you know, it, that's a lot of calories. So, you know, you can only go so far with, with those types of foods. Um, and I think, um, that type of diet promotes binging somewhat, um, because if you, I'm not allowed to have that type of food, it's bad food. Well, what happens, you know, a month or two down the road where you're out and you're at a party or something and you have, you know, a cupcake or something like that where you think, well, my whole day's ruined and I've seen this, I've done it myself, you know, before I've, I know what I, I've learned what I know now and you think my whole day's ruined, I may as well just have whatever I want and you just go and your day kind of spirals out of control. Now in reality, is one cupcake, let's say 200 calories, is that gonna hurt you for the day? Well, no, if you just fit it into your, your calories for the day, you're gonna be fine so you can have that one cupcake and just move on. So where I am with my nutrition is IIFYM or flexible dieting and 
what that is is you know as we've talked before I set specific calorie goals for the day so right now I'm at 3100 calories I'm trying to put on weight it's not going that great actually I'll probably have to eat more um, after that so calories are the top priority after that I go for macronutrients so protein carbs and fat getting them in an ideal ratio uh, so again for me one gram per pound protein I'm doing a lot of weight lifting so I need a little bit more uh, 20 25 30 percent fat and the rest from carbs after that you want to hit your micronutrients your phytonutrients so plant derived nutrients so eat your fruits eat your veggies get in enough fiber for the day and after that work in some treat food if if you can fit it into those requirements you're probably good as long as you're getting enough fiber in the day also so like today we made you know a, a tuna casserole or a tuna noodle casserole it has a lot of pasta but for me that's great I need a lot of carbs so it fits really well into my diet now comparing what I am since I'm trying to gain weight to something like someone who's cutting you're gonna be on less carbs so you're you're not gonna have the budget I like I have to work with um, but I'm uh, whether I'm cutting weight or body fat or I'm maintaining or I'm tr actively trying to gain weight I'm on basically the same diet nutrition plan it's just the proportions are changed around and I've been doing this for about two years now I'm perfectly happy with it I see myself doing this you know years down the road it, it's just it takes a little more work getting started but eventually down the road you get pretty good at eyeballing things and I just I know that I need more carbs in the day so I stick to fruits veggies grains you know things like that and you know if I have some crackers or you know I'm at 400 grams of carbs in a day right now I, it's really easy for me to fit a cupcake into my day and still hit all my other new uh, goals for the day that have higher priority so uh, I don't want to drag this on a long time but you know that's my view on things you know I'm always thinking what's sustainable what what can you learn that's healthy for you and then maintain long term um, so I guess I'll wrap up tonight uh, you guys again are doing great I love the activity I'm seeing in this group and uh, keep posting you know let's post you know if you have questions be sure to post those in the group let's see like some fun pictures or you know like I've been posting pictures of my you know some dinners so far uh, but let's have some fun with this and you guys are doing great so good night <laughs>